Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia. The prevailing hypothesis is that dementia is caused by aggregates of a certain protein termed A-beta-42, which forms amyloids that are toxic to the brain. But scientists from the Karolinska Institute in Sweden and the University of Cincinnati question this hypothesis because drugs which reduce these aggregates have not yielded clinical benefits or, in some cases, even worsen the symptoms. And because the current hypothesis does not explain why as we age, most of us will accumulate amyloids, but few of us will develop dementia. In fact, by the age of 85, 60% of us have amyloids, but only 10% suffer from dementia. Therefore, the scientists suggest that Alzheimer's disease is not caused by the aggregated amyloids, but by the loss of A-beta-42 protein function due to aggregation. When normally soluble proteins aggregate, they become insoluble and their unique structure is destroyed. As a consequence, they are no longer functional and cannot fulfill important tasks in the brain anymore. With increasing aggregation, less and less functional proteins are available in the brain and Alzheimer's symptoms develop. The scientists have studied their hypothesis in nearly 600 individuals who all have brain amyloids. They found that those who were cognitively normal had higher levels of the soluble protein A-beta-42 than those who had dementia. Moreover, they found that those with higher levels of the soluble protein had a normal-sized hippocampus, the part of the brain most important for memory. They conclude that the toxicity in Alzheimer's may come from A-beta-42 becoming insoluble and thus non-functional, and not from the aggregated amyloids themselves. They are therefore developing therapeutics to replace the soluble proteins using non-aggregated protein analogs for Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative diseases.